Hey guys, how's it going? Kapran here. Today I want to show you guys a few clips where you can see just how soul crushing and ridiculously strong sap can be. I talked about it a few times now that, you know, at least in Arena, I don't, I think the card is still pretty fine and constructed, but in Arena, when it comes to having to play giant minions and receiving a sap, it is the most ridiculous turn swinging move you will ever have in that format. You know, it's like, you know, you have to play six, seven, eight, and nine drops in arena. You have to curve out. If you play only mid range, your deck is going to be much more inconsistent, and you rely on having better and higher quality uh, early game than your opponent every game, which is just not possible in that format. So you have to have a few late game cards, and you are so punished for playing them when it comes to getting sapped. So check out the clips. See what I'm talking about, see how you might have to adjust your play a little bit as I do cover the range of possibilities when it comes to surrounding this card. And yeah, with some knowledge, hopefully you'll do a little bit better in Arena, and hopefully you enjoy the clips. Check them out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. You cannot play it as a big streamer and expect it to do well, because you will get fucking wrecked in the PvP zones. Um, and it's mostly for people who really want that out of a game. The pleasure is mine. And I don't, I don't know how many of those people are out there. But it's like, <laughs> if I found Albion online when I was a kid, in like junior high or some shit, when I did play these grindy games all fucking day, I could totally see myself getting lost in that. I could totally see myself just playing that shit like eight hours a day, every single fucking day. company paid me a salary to play their game on stream, would I? Well, it's not much of a difference between a salary and a contract, I don't think. Most games are, get really fucking boring after a short period of time, so... That wouldn't really work. The answer to your question is generally no. No, that will, that will not work. Uh, well, I told you guys, Hearthstone's like the, the third or fourth most played game that I have played. Guys, in high school, I played Dark Age of Camelot for two years. I played for seven years, but during a period of two years, I farmed one monster. You, you guys understand that, right? Like. I played grindy fucking games, guys. Love that shit. Uh, the Dahian, the King Dahian Snake for ML4, because it dropped five keys of random gear. So I had all the best random gear in the game and made a fortune selling it on the auction houses. I just camped it. Fuck, dude. That's bullshit. That RNG just won the game. If that didn't kill the Bog Creeper, he was dead with no chance of doing anything. Damn it. He should probably suicide that. I think that's a mistake. Yeah, now he doesn't have enough onboard damage. He needs uh, another removal. Which I don't think he has, because he's been playing top deck since he sabotaged me. And you would not sabotage there unless you were desperate. So he doesn't have any more removal, so that was a giant misplay and he might lose the game. The only card I see him possibly having is a Bomb Lobber. 
Oh, is the top deck top deck? Nope. Nope, boys. Oh, it's the trusty ship, dude. Alright. Really? Overwatch? Yeah, man, maybe it just appeals to different people. But Overwatch doesn't have any sort any sense of progression. You don't need a good guild, you just you just need friends who don't suck ass. Wanna blow something up? Oh, bomber again against my one health. I'm pretty sure that's the third paladin who's had that. Three paladins had Bomber in their opening hand against my one health opener. You need friends. What do you need friends for? You just need to play with people who don't suck. You don't really rely on anything. LOL, no progression with a ranking system. Ranking system is not progression. If I attach a ladder on Solitaire, with the highest win percentages in the world. That's not progression. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. It's just basically bullshit. Closest closest thing to that. Here we go. <laughs> this guy's toast. Progression is you have to go in multiple steps. And in games that are very difficult, you have to rely on others to cross each step. Fuck. Here we go. Yeah, just my amazingly bad turns are probably going to cost me this game. But we'll see. If he doesn't have any keepers, should still be alright. But if he has keepers on top of uh, on top of everything that's happened so far, I, uh, I'm going to be in trouble. Check. Don't really care if he has kings. Kings is fine. He's gonna have to take six damage. Here. I have no time for games. Sure. It's a sap life, boys. Sap life. Hashtag sap life. I was losing badly, but then he played a large minion that relied on staying on the board. Insta lose. Sap so unfair, dude. Do you like to play with fire? Yeah, dude, but you lose all your minions now. Don't you see how that could be a problem? popular as Minecraft? No, it's not, dude. Minecraft is the digital Legos. Minecraft is like a tier one drug, man. Those little fiends. Alright. Ooh, not bad. Yeah, MMOs are dying. 
I think I got it figured out pretty well on why that is. All the good MMOs have died, and when people play a new MMO, they expect it to be better than the last one. You wanna buy a funnel cake? That's just not gonna happen. Life, boys. Uh, that sucks a lot. Sap life! Dude, I just fucking ripped. Oh my god. Fucking sap life, boys. I'm the only one who's allowed to have sap in here. That's bullshit! Bullshit, guys. Bullshit. What the fuck are the chances it pulls cards I already have? Alright, dude. Ha, this guy's Doomsayer dead. life, boys. Doomsayer life. Let's do this. Doomsayer. Oh, the best Doomsayer. Um, we're dead. Dip. Ten wins with a 66 deck is actually pretty nuts, so it's fine. It's a shitload of gold, actually. Why no Bog Creeper? And what? Like, I can't win that game. Okay, I'm not sure I actually have Dark Mirror. 